Hi, this is Dean Richards and today we're going to be drawing the Hound from Game of Thrones. Here we go. Firstly, you can see we're sketching out the main shape. Everything's going to be done in pencil mode first. Just sketching out the body and the armour. You can see the first elements of his face, the details, just sketching it out, making sure everything's going to be in the right place when we come to painting it. And here are some, some of the details on his armour. It's going pretty fast here, but it did take a while when I was doing it in real time. But you can see all this detail is going to help when it comes to putting together the actual final look and you can see some flipping going of the paper that helps just to see that you're getting some of the actual details correct and like you know, the face isn't going to be lopsided and stuff so sometimes flipping it does help here's the first parts of the painting side of things that we're doing here adding colour, just the highlights, the deep shadows, the highlights in the eyes, the wrinkles. Yeah, the Hound in Game of Thrones is a, I'd say it's kind of like the easier, well, one of the easier characters to do because obviously he's got a very distinctive face, it's very hard to mistake him for another character. So say like for Jon Snow and any of the other, you know, normal looking characters in the show. It's a pretty hard to get across some of the little idiosyncrasies about their look. But with the Hound, he's got this big scar across his face and that's quite distinctive. It's hard to mistake. Yeah, so as you can see, all the details that we did at the start really does help when it comes to doing the paint over. And like you can see, we're poking holes where we did all those little details on the armor before, just to make some contrast. So on this particular layer, we can lighten it up, darken it up, do whatever. As long as we've got that contrast, it's always gonna be there. Yeah, I'm using Clip Studio Paint here. Um, obviously, I'm working from a reference, but I am actually going for a painterly look. I don't want it to look like a photograph. Um, to me, there is like no point in trying to get it absolutely photorealistic. You know, there'd be no point in having a painting version of this particular photo. Good thing about painting on Clip Studio Paint, it, it does replicate real paint. There are times when you're painting over a color and it seems like it seems to react as in like a real watercolor or oil painting like you're painting over the color and it does smear it just does smudge like a real painting so it's quite useful uh, here you can see like some more highlights on the armor highlights on the belt and you'll notice that as i'm painting i'm always zooming in zooming out i mean that's something i do when i'm paint, painting or drawing on paper as well like rotating and stuff you know um, it does help to step back away from the painting to see like the whole picture to see how it's all coming together if you get too focused on the details too soon you'll start to miss things there'll be obvious mistakes that you're making so it does help to step back from it and I do that quite a lot I do it maybe more often than some other people I've seen uh, do these kind of videos but that's just something that I do to help me out Now you can see me doing some of the trousers. Like I'm starting off, as you can see, broad brush strokes, then adding some small minor details and just, you know, blending it in. And I do go in this painting, I, I did go back and forth with the, with the armor, the lighting on the armor. 
and what does help what does help here you can see that when I fill in the background it's going to help with the lighting that I'm going to add to the to the final armor so make sure that there's some contrast everything is nice and contrasting from the actual figure now I've got basically the whole painting drawn out I can start adding more detail refining some of the details bringing that all together it looks messy now but we're going to see how we can bring it all together so now when we step back we can see that what exactly needs to be done with the lighting and how his armor can blend in to his environment so there's going to be reflections here and there reflections of green, reflections of blue from the sky shadows on his hand from his armor now we have the luxury of um, adding some more minor details because we've done those broad strokes before so it's coming together a bit more like I said I do want it to look like a painting I, I, I want that painterly look about it so leaving some of the brush strokes visible you know to me that that looks good So now you can see that <laughs> the painting is getting pretty frantic all over the place. That's because me bringing together all the details, I can see every little thing that needs to be smoothed out or added. Now, done some of the lighting, we painted over some of the lighting so he blends into his background a lot better. Some of the colours are more consistent with the background now and some of the shines are more evident on his armor you can see the dents you can see the real contrast light bits and here we go it was quite good doing this painting let's see what else i can do next time so don't forget if you like what i did here just subscribe to advanced arts and i'll be back another time with more comics and fan art for you to look at